This is Chad Wood, Director of Bands at Staley Middle School in Frisco, Texas. This presentation is on Naming the Staff or Music Basics Part 2. This page and more theory worksheets can be downloaded at staleyband.org theory. As we begin, remember that I'm going to work through this very quickly. You can always pause the video if you need more time, or you can rewind it if you need to hear the information again. You always start by writing your name on it, and notice that it says names are important. Knowing how to read music is also important, especially if you are currently enrolled in a band or orchestra class. Since we now are friends with the five lines and four spaces of the staff, it's time to learn their proper names. A clef Notice that that word is bold and underlined. It's an important word for us. Well, a clef is a musical symbol that names the lines of the staff. Every time a different clef is used, the names change. The two most commonly used clefs are treble and bass clef. As you learn to practice drawing a treble clef, you want to pay special attention about the dot at the end. But more importantly, the loop at the top goes to the right and then it swooshes to the left as you go down, back right, and then it curls around. You want to practice that a few times, but notice that it is the second line that the loop is going on. That's very important that the second line, and remember we count up, is what you're focused on. As you draw the bass clef, it is a little bit easier to draw. You just start with a circle and it goes around, kind of like you're drawing a cartoon ear. A lot of young musicians, though, forget to add the dots. So as you practice this, Make sure that you keep those dots on either side of the fourth line, or if you want to think about the third and fourth space, and again, we always count from the bottom. The next section talks about which instrument goes to which clef. Very important information since the clefs name your staff. If you are a flute person, you are going to be in treble clef. Oboe is also treble clef. Our bassoon friends play in bass clef, and then clarinet and saxophone are both treble clef. For the brass family, trumpet and horn are high brass, and so they play in treble clef, and then all three, trombone, euphonium, and tuba, all play in bass clef. Percussion family, we love you guys. You guys just have so many instruments, so we just picked a couple here. Timpani, that's a very common one that we learn. We do play in bass clef. Mallets can play in both, but in general, we'll see mostly treble clef. So if you're in percussion, you do want to learn both clefs very, very well. This next section is all about your instrument. So write what you play and which family you're in. If you need to check the spelling, it's right above this box. Now you will write treble or bass. Don't write them both. Notice that they are color-coded, just like the lines were in my presentation. Now your musical alphabet, if your treble clef, starts on E, and if your bass clef, it starts on G. And then the nine letters, and it's nine, not seven, because remember there's five lines and four spaces, adding up to nine. For your instrument, if your treble clef starts on E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, and F. If your bass clef, you would write G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and A. Again, you can always pause if you need more time to write. Now when you name the staff, now you can actually compare this to the keyboard and notice that it first asks you to draw the clef. So bass clef, you would start about here, work your way around, and then do not forget the dots around the fourth line, around the fourth line. Treble clef, as you draw the clef, you can start at the bottom, work your way up, small loop to the right. As you come down, make sure that you are looping the second line up. Now, as you look at the notes that go down, you would just fill it in from the bottom for bass clef, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then A at the top. For treble clef, you start at E and you work your way up, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, notice that the keyboard is working low to high, so this bottom line in treble clef is much higher than the bottom line in bass clef. Now, your homework is asking you to be sure to draw your clef at the start, and you'll notice that we have three places to draw our clef and three places to draw our double bar, not on this line. So as you're looking at this, make sure that you review, review this page, and if you have any questions, be sure to ask your director. Good luck and happy practicing.